Now, negative powers always look really confusing, but actually, if you learn the golden rule, they're really simple. Now, as a recap, if you add 2 to the power of 4, that just means 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. 2, 4, 8, 16. Now, we won't prove it in this video, but a negative power just means one thing. And it just means one over. And it means one over two to the power of four. And we know that two to the power of four is 16. So it's a fraction. And it just means one sixteen. So a negative power always means one over dot dot dot. So in the third one we have 2 to the power of negative 5. The negative power just means 1 over, so 1 over. And it's 1 over 2 to the power of 5. Now 2 to the power of 5 is just 2, 4, 8, 16, 32. So it's 1, 30, tooth. Now to try and visualise this, these fractions, just imagine a cake cut into either 16 or 32 slices. 1 16 is just 1 out of 16 slices, or 1 32 is just 1 out of 32 slices. And another word for 1 over, a sort of posh word, is reciprocal. It's worth knowing that word. Now, the fourth one is another negative power. So again, we know it now just means 1 over. So 1 over 5 to the power of 3. A bit harder, that one. 5 times 5 is 25. So 5 times 5 times 5 is 5 times 25, which is actually 125. So 1 out of 125. The last one, the negative just means 1 over, and it's 7 to the power of 1. Oh, 7 to the power of 1 is just 1 out of 7, so it's just 1 over 7.